Deng Xiaoping, for him, his first priority, his agenda is stability for his power, for communist government. So he didn't want to tolerate this. He didn't want to have a conversation dialogue with the students. And he didn't want to uh, admit this is uh, legitimate, even though the Chinese constitution saying the people have a freedom to gather, to protest, to march. So this wasn't about ideology at all. This no, was, at the this beginning, was about no. they, they wanted to fight corruption. Right. And for him, it wasn't a, about ideology either. It no. was about control and power. Exactly. So he uh, labeled the students as anti-communism, anti-China, uh, and uh, riot, violent riot. So the students, at the beginning, they were just having this uh, good spirit to help the country to be better and suddenly labeled these things. These are prison sentences. These are death penalties. They were over, um, they were so angry. They said, no, we are n not this at all. And they said they demand the government change, take away these labels. And they were more disciplined to never do anything like vandalism or riot or any of these. They, even some leaders start pulling out uh, Gandhi's story, Mandela's story to see how peaceful no, protest non -violence. Yeah, yeah. goes. And uh, they start to run onto the street to demand open dialogue, freedom of press, because the media, they were very sympathetic. A lot of them had the same way of thinking as the student. They want to report, but they couldn't. And uh, one news anchor was even in tears. And of course, he was in, in trouble, big trouble later on, but that's later on. They, they want uh, freedom of press. They want uh, dialogue. And they want remove of these uh, accusations. Very clear, became very clear. I asked them, I asked these survivors, I said, did you have any intention to overthrow the communist government? Did you have any intention to change, uh, to, uh, get rid of uh, communism? They said no. All of them said no. They start marching and singing international. Those are, I call them communist, uh, international communist anthem, right? They start even having banners written, we support the communist party, we love the country. They say that's their strategy. But they didn't even, they didn't have the intention to say opposite. Mm -hmm. But Chinese government refused. Some officials invited the student for dialogue. They all lost their jobs later on. But Deng Xiaoping and Li Peng that time, the top two people refused to have a dialogue with students. So some students got really, really angry, started to shout uh, down with Deng Xiaoping, and of course this uh, um, caused more trouble. And after almost uh, two, three weeks going on like this, and the government refused, and students start to have a hunger strike. Are they, at this point, are they gathering in Tiananmen Square on a regular basis every mm -hmm. day? Every day. Yeah, but, but organized march was uh, uh, April 22nd, April 27th, and May 4th, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's uh, organized. Tens of thousands of uh, students, a lot of them from other cities all over China started to come in. And Hong Kong, with the uh, contribution Jimmy Lai, they donated a lot of tents for the students to camp at the Tiananmen Square. 
And uh, so at this point, it's a movement. Yes. Yeah.